right, I'm working in Photoshop today, but this can be done exactly the same way in Photo-P. I have made my bars where they're side by side just so you can see my colors over here. So kind of the focus here is we've got to pay attention to these color boxes, okay? Because we're going to be using only black and only white. And then I have placed a bunch of images in here. So these are just images from 2020, um, things from this past year. And for your project, you can, it can be anything from 2020. It could be like big things that happen in the news, um, stuff about COVID, you know, whatever. Okay. Anyway, but I'm using my own family pictures. You could just use internet pictures if you want to. What we're going to do is we're going to add layer masks to these to blend them together to kind of create this like blended composite picture. So my top picture is this anniversary picture. So you can go about this a couple of ways. If you know that you only want a certain part of a picture, we could use what's called the marquee selection tool. And the only tools I want you to use in this project, this example project, is going to be the rectangle or elliptical marquee tools and the layer masks. That's it. So don't, don't use any other selection tools. We're not erasing. We're not using magic wand. We're not doing any of that, okay? All right, so I've got this one here. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to add a plain layer mask. That's this button down here. Not the one over here. Ignore this. Okay, this doesn't matter right now. It's the one over here. So I'm on this layer. Click layer mask. That puts a white box on here. White means show. Black means hide. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. Click these little baby squares. That sets these to black and white. And then you hit your arrows to switch them. And it's the same in Photo P. They're just in a different spot. You can press the letter X on your keyboard. That's what I'm doing right now. And X also switches those. And D sets them to that default color. Okay. So I have black on top. I'm going to grab my paintbrush. And I want to make my paintbrush really big. Like bigger than this. Okay. So I'm going to use my little bracket keys to make it bigger. And I want it to also be really soft. So I have my hardness on zero. Okay, so now I'm not going to come right over the head here because watch what happens if I do that. Like he's going to disappear. Okay, I'm going to undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start way out here and I'm just going to kind of move that direction a little bit. See how I'm not actually getting in there? I want to get close enough to get rid of those hard edges. That's it. I don't want to like roll over it and mess it up. So I'm not not getting right on top there. Now I'm going to have to touch up some of these a little bit differently, but but you basically can see what's happening here. Okay. Now there's still a little bit of a tough edge at the top. So now I'm going to take a small one and hit this edge right here, but start with the really big ones because they're going to blend so much better with the big ones. Okay. So now see, I have a really ugly layer mask here. Um, but if I disable it, you can see there's my original picture. Okay. So now I've got that one. Now I need to deal with this next one. And I'm starting on my top one and working my way back. So reorganize your layers if you need to. So as I'm going here, same thing. Click on this picture. Now, just for the sake of example, let's say I know I want this one to be in an oval, okay? Then I'm going to take my, take and hold that rectangular marquee, go to the elliptical one, and just draw me an oval around the girls, kind of. Now it's hanging off the page because I need it to, okay? Now, because I have a selection, if I click the layer mask button, it's only gonna keep that part, watch. There, see now they're in a circle. Now I can still paint on this and I'm going to, I'm gonna go back to my paintbrush, click on black. Again, don't be on the picture layer. And if you, if you placed these pictures, it would yell at you if you tried to do this on the picture layer because it would think you're painting on the pictures, okay? but we're painting on the layer mask. You have to pay attention to that. Okay, so now I'm here. Again, I don't want to use, here's what happens if you use too little of a brush. See, that looks like, that's ugly. See that? That just looks super ugly. Okay, let me back up. The difference is super big, annoyingly big brush because you can hit those edges and they just blend nicer. And again, I'm just getting close to it. So I'm just barely touching the edge with the edge of my humongous brush, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not using a tiny brush because the tiny brush isn't gonna give me that cool blending look. I hope you're getting that because that seems to be the biggest problem with people on this project. 
Okay. So now we've got those going on. And I'm noticing now as I start going, like if I move this, you know, I've got, there's kind of a white spot going on here now. So I may need to add another picture kind of down in this spot. So you just kind of have to think as you're using them. And then you just continue to process. Again, I want to get rid of all hard edges. Um, and then in the end, if you want, you could just kind of put one big picture behind everything that covers up all those extra spots. But we don't want to have any lines, okay? So once again, what am I going to do? I'm going to add a layer mask. Again, if you want to start with a selection, you know, even if I just wanted to make it smaller, I could take that rectangle selection and be like, all right, well, I know I don't need that part. So let's just start over here a little bit because I know that's, you know, that's part I want to want to keep or whatever. And then hit that layer mask button. And there we go. And then I have like my starting point and then take that black brush on the layer mask from the edge, real gently from the edge, way out there. By the way, let go every now and then because that creates a history undo thing. If you don't let go, you don't have any undos. So like let go every now and then. Don't try to do it all at once. Okay, so now we got that one in there. And then we just continue on. All right, so I'm going to pause this and finish it and then throw a um, throw some text on it. Okay, so I've added all of those, and then I added a big picture behind everything. So if you kind of see here, this is my cheesy anniversary picture here, but I like it because I have a little hand, and so I kind of stuck that where you can see it in between those pictures up here at the top where I had a gap. So consider, you know, adding that background picture. You could add it first and plan around it, but you're going to need some kind of picture in the background. Okay, now, if you need to do any touch-ups, all you got to do is click back on the layer mask and paint in white. So, for instance, right here, you can see my husband's glasses in her face. So, let me find the layer that has her and her sister. Let's see, that's this one, right? So, I need to click on this layer mask. And if I want more of her hair back, I need to switch for white on top, okay? And now I'm going to use a smaller brush. And I'm just going to kind of go in here with that white and see I'm going to get that off of her face. I don't mind that it's right there because the edge of the picture, well, actually I could probably go over a little further. And then over here I can now see that I'm zoomed in. I can see the edge of that picture. So I'm going to switch to black and I'm just going to kind of paint that edge out now that I have a smaller brush. Zoom up close when you're about done with it so you can see are there any edges that you just need to hit with a small brush. And still I'm I'm still only hitting it with the edge of my brush, right? You notice that? I'm not hitting it with the middle of the brush. I'm just hitting it with the edge of the brush. Oh, okay, there we go. There's another one. Where's that one coming from? We've got to figure out. That's the thing. You have to figure out where they're coming from. All right, here, this one's coming from this picture. So I'm going to click on, <coughs> click on here, this black one, and touch up these edges. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time because you're going to have to zoom up close and look for any edge problems. And you just turn them on and turn them off. I mean, it's not really like the most time consuming thing ever. <coughs> it's just that you got to check. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. <coughs> now, you're going to add some text in the end. I added 20 on here. And then I'm going to alt drag with my move tool to make 2020. Kind of overlap them because I think it looks cool that way. I'm going to transform that a little bit. There we go. 2020. <coughs> and then um, add your layer style. So I'll just do layer style. Something simple. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then I'll add the same one to this one. And that's it. All right. We just want to make sure that, you know, the numbers look good. I probably really should make sure that doesn't touch his face here. So let's. Move that over just a smidge. There we go. And I could rotate it or whatever. But anyway, oh, I have forgot to turn on a picture. All right, so there we go. So there is my easy collage using layer masks. So practice, practice, practice. I want to make sure that you understand how to use the edges of that soft brush, how to zoom up super close to make sure you don't have those ugly edges and we don't want it to look blobby we need just the edges of a really big soft brush to touch up those masks so become pros on layer masks okay always be sure you're clicked on the little boxes when you paint we don't want to paint on the picture and we absolutely are not using erasers when you turn this one into me i'm going to ask you to take a screenshot that shows me your layers Okay, you're going to turn in that screenshot that shows me your layers. I'm looking for layer maps.